Hi guys, my name is Will from Oz Digital Media. I'm going to share with you five digital systems to help you increase revenue and improve productivity. It's not going to cost you a cent. Daily scheduling, calendar team sharing, booking time, both paid and unpaid, digitize as much as possible with e-commerce and pre-scheduling your marketing. Let's get started with point one, daily scheduling. Now with my calendar, my daily calendar, I start very early in the morning and I have everything locked in as to what I'm going to achieve in that day, okay? Now this might start with, with you know, typically breakfast, um, exercise and so on and so forth but everything is locked in now I find this works very well it keeps me focused it keeps me on track but the main thing is it gets th it gets things done okay here is my task for today it might be put uh, posts on LinkedIn or pay staff or whatever it is but it is at 10 o'clock on a Tuesday and it happens every single Tuesday and I'll tell the calendar to reschedule that repeating every week, okay? The same thing with uh, exercise in the morning. Exercise repeats every week in the calendar. It's locked in there. So all you have to do is wake up and follow your daily routine and, and you're off and running. This works very, very well as far as improving productivity rather than just turning up to work, hoping to get something done and hoping to do your best. If clients interrupt you, which, you know, that's the nature of the game, clients will interrupt you. If you have to take their call, you take their call, but you try to get back on schedule as quickly as you, as you can. Or you might block out um, a certain time of day to take clients' calls or answer emails, which is what I do. I don't answer all my emails immediately. I have typically two times a day when I answer emails, which will be first thing in the morning and mid-afternoon. Those are times when I answer emails. Let's move on to calendar team sharing. Now, the beauty of um, programs like uh, Calendly, Calend Calendly, just look at Calendly.com, and uh, even Google Calendar, and I think even iCal does it as well. I'm not sure about Microsoft, as I don't encourage or use Microsoft. Um, but Calendly in particular is a very, very good system, okay? Um, it, it enables you to set up Teams, as does uh, Google Calendar, enables you to set up sharing. So what that means for your sales team or your um, marketing team or your labor force or your stock managers or your warehouse team is they can all share a particular calendar, okay? And they can all contribute to that calendar. This works very, very well when uh, done in conjunction with uh, digital signage or digital screens. You can then run a screen in your warehouse with the calendar uh, displaying live on the screen and anyone that makes an adjustment to that via their computer or their mobile phone, it will automatically ripple through to the digital screen. Uh, there's links on our website to digital screens if you're interested. I highly advise them, they're a very good idea. Uh, let's look at booking time, paid and unpaid. Okay, the beauty of uh, these programs like Calendly, is Calendly as well, is you can assign certain times when someone can book a time with you. For example, on ozdigitalmedia.com, there's a um, page where you can book a 30-minute consultation call for your business. Now, we allocate what times we want to be available in the system, in the Calendly system, and that ripples through to the website because it's embedded on the website. And then people can choose from our preset times which one they would like, okay? They go, look, I want the, the uh, one o'clock p.m. 30 minute slot, they can book that. It sends the client an email, it sends the host an email, as in us sends an email, and it's confirmed. Now that can be unpaid or paid. You can attach Stripe to this booking system as well. Stripe or PayPal, I think, can be uh, added as well. Stripe is is free for both individuals and for businesses, so you might as well use Stripe. And what it can do is it can say, okay, if you want to book that spot, we charge 
um, you know, $100 just as a, an example, and it will ask the person to pay $100 and book that time. So this, if your time is valuable, let's say you're running a, a clinic with um, services that are pay per hour like massage or, or cycle repair or, or um, a, a mechanic shop or something like that where you're getting paid per hour, you can assign certain times and people can buy those times from you. And you can also attach a cancellation policy to the software and it will tell them, look, if you cancel, you know, within two hours of your booking time, uh, your fee is non-refundable or whatever cancel cancellation policy you like, it's up to you. So booking time, guys, it's a very good way to eliminate time wasters and maximize your time, particularly if you're dealing with a global audience, you can assign um, uh, time slots. A lot of IT guys who do IT support will use this system in Calendly and you've got to book a time with them when they're, when they're available according to their time zone and you can choose a time. So the next one is digitize as much as possible with e-commerce. Now I've, I've dealt with a lot of businesses over the last few years and what I've noticed is um, a lot of companies or businesses, businesses will have an e-commerce store but they won't have digitized as much as they can. They've got stock that is, that is sitting on the shelves, it hasn't been assigned an e-commerce uh, product page, and it's just sitting there, rotting on a shelf, okay? I encourage everyone to digitize as many products and services as you can in e-commerce. Get them up on a website where they're in full public view, you can promote them on social media, on uh, through marketing campaigns, you can do all, all manner of marketing campaigns and contact us below if you want to talk about that. But try to get everything online as much as you can. Your, your time and your products, services and products, both online. It's going to save you in uh, time and productivity down the track tenfold, okay? Pre-scheduling your marketing, we spoke about this in the last video. Pre-scheduling your marketing with uh, things like Facebook ads. Uh, you can't do it on LinkedIn at the moment, you can't do it on Instagram, but you can do it with um, with emails. You can actually uh, use MailChimp and you can use um, for your native email client like Outlook and iCal, you can actually buy programs that will send an email from your email client from iCal or Outlook, it'll send it at a certain time. I know that the Apple version is called Mail Butler, uh, but I'm not sure what the Microsoft version is, but you can tell it to send an email from your composed email drafts at a certain time. Uh, MailChimp is another way to go for marketing campaigns uh, that works very well. Schedule in advance. We've got mail, so I've got mail set up. I often will type up emails on a Sunday or Saturday or whatever. I don't really want to interact with the client on, on the weekend because it's family time, but I might have typed up an email that's, that's come to my mind. I'll type it up, save it in a draft, and then I'll put a note in my calendar, send email to uh, client one, two, three, I, I, ABC, to send, the, send an email. And all I have to do is go to my drafts and click send, and off it goes. This, it looks very professional as well, because if you send it first thing in the morning, the client knows that you're, you're, you're working first thing Monday morning, you're working, but you typed that email over the weekend on a, on a Saturday night, okay? Um, Pre-scheduling your marketing as much as you can will save you time down the track tenfold. Guys, if you've got any questions, please yell out. You're welcome to book a 30 minute consultation call with me at ozdigitalmedia.com and I'm here to help you look at how you can improve productivity, increase your revenue through many, many digital systems, not just booking systems like this, but there's many digital systems that can help you step forward into the 21st century. Thank you very much.